somewhere. Everyone, welcome back for another week of Thingy Thing Remote Thursday. So, I'm really excited to get into some Elvis with you all today on this lovely Thursday. I actually pulled out my Elvis Bible here to pick a song to react to. Um, and I landed on Fairy Tale, which I love fairy tales, so I'm really excited to get into this one. And I read here a little bit about the song. I almost lost my page. Um, it says that Anita and Bonnie Pointer wrote Fairy Tale for their group, the Pointer Sisters, in 1974. The Pointer Sisters recording uh, reached number 13 on Billboard's Hot 100 chart, and they were awarded a Grammy in the category Best Vocal Performance by a Duo or Group. Elvis recorded Fairy Tale on March 10, 1975 at RCA's Hollywood Studios. Because of the sad lyrics, Elvis occasionally introduced the song in concert by saying that it was the story of my life. Um, I am even more intrigued to listen to the song now and hear the lyrics and hear what Elvis sort of felt, um, you know, explained his life. And I also wanted to mention to you guys that if you're not following along with me on social media like Instagram and Patreon and things like that, you may have missed, but um, I'm going to be doing one, a Patreon exclusive live stream this weekend, um, which I'm very excited for. And then, uh, I will also be doing um, a mailing, an email list, an email, a, a newsletter. So I need to build up my email list. That's what I meant to say. So um, follow me on Instagram and drop your name. Uh, my story, I have it. It's going to be live for like another 12 hours or something like that. Um, so drop your name in there so that you can get my newsletter. I'm going to start that up. It's going to give you more background on um, my choice of reactions and what's coming up. So, um, yeah, that's just a little bit of a side note, but let's jump into this reaction. This next song that we've been doing uh, a little bit, it's, it was recorded by a group called the Pointer Sisters, uh, and it's called Fairy Tale. <laughs> Um, the song, reading that it was going to be a sad song, it has a different instrumentation than I expected it was going to have. Um, it also has this very country twang to it, which is uh, definitely interesting. And um, I'm listening to the lyrics, and they are extremely sad. And I wonder if Elvis was if he had Priscilla in mind as he's saying these lyrics, um, I'm guessing that he most likely did. And found it's all in just a great big fairy tale. I've been loving you so long. I don't think I even know how to forget you. In a way, the things have been, I think I'm there all alone. And to be with you, you don't love me. This is 
so strong. Oh. You won't forget me when I go home. Thank you very much. Such a great, strong vocal. Um, this song was performed in 1975. And as we've read in the book, that's when he recorded it. That's also when this performance was from. It says March 22nd, 1975 to be exact. And Elvis's voice, even though this was in the later years, still just so strong. And you could hear, you could hear that, um, he was singing it from a place of experience. He really meant the words that he was saying. So what we read beforehand, it totally adds up because you don't sing like that and not relate to the words. Um, so it makes me sad to think that, you know, he felt that this was, you know, representative of his life and what he had gone through. But, um, you know, just really incredible um to hear him pour his heart out like that so thank you guys for being here with me on this wonderful thursday this thank you very much thursday i hope that you're all having a good week and i will be seeing you guys soon like i said don't forget to like comment subscribe all that good stuff also check out my other channels of social media like instagram patreon all of that um, trying to build up some more fun stuff for you guys. So make sure that you join along. Uh, if you want to be part of the newsletter and receive that each week, then definitely go on over to my Instagram, follow me there and reply to my story. I'll post it again tomorrow so that you guys have some more time to get your emails in. Um, and yeah, and I will be seeing you there. Someday I'll wish upon a star And wake up where the clouds are far beyond